So that's how they get those milky shots at RDB. What? Oh Alright, so we have this charger here. Our employee, Junior, brought this car in because he's having air conditioning problems. After Santos did the diagnosis on the car, you guys can see this here. He also has an aftermarket coal intake system. So look at this. Because of this, this is rubbing all over it, went through and damaged the pipe. So yeah, there's no more Freon. This thing's not gonna hold Freon. So we have a brand new hose that's already in. Um, as you guys can see, he has a very, very nice tool that holds up his hood because the shocks are already destroyed. He needs new shocks. If you take that off, it's gonna fall on Santos' head right away, immediately. So we have to order those for him too, but a little bit later, not now. He's actually lucky that he's gonna probably have an AC system today. Today's a hot day outside. So now we have to uh, charge the air conditioning system, see if everything's good. How much is he paying you, Santos? It's uh, free. Call me hookup? Yeah. No, today's actually payday today, uh, and he's getting a check. Junior gets a check. So once he gets his check, we're definitely going to deduct the services off yeah. the check. It's not that much. It's like a $1,000 service. <laughs> actually, whatever his paycheck amount is, I'm just, we're just going to take all of it. it. Yeah, yeah, just keep it. <laughs> what is that? It's oh, it's alcohol? No, it's not alcohol. It's a toner. We just got a package. For sure. this It's a Ventador computer. We're putting on the exhaust system on Mo's SUJ right now, and that's the ECU. Remember that ghost client didn't want to black it out originally, but after he saw the pics, he decided to do it. So black door handles, black little key slot, and black reflectors. Honestly, this just little stuff made the car way better. Obviously, it has the cool wheels on it. Burned out great with the blue, you already saw it. But yeah, now with the little blackout on it, it makes such a big difference. be any louder than this car why is this car always here it's here we're doing a mirror right now there's a cracked mirror so we did we got one from lamborghini we're gonna take care of that and then we also have i think we did something else to this car this thing is super loud man this is one of the loudest of ventadors you can't hear yourself when you're when this car is on what do you think sarkis how much was that mirror 120 bucks yeah my camera mirror is more expensive it's about 125 for the whole assembly he's disappointed that it's not expensive well let me ask you a question how do you afford that car <laughs> it's old there's a hemi engine in it <laughs> Okay, so who installed the intake? Uh, I had someone do it. So whoever that friend is, he owes you an AC line. Two grand. Shut the f up. <laughs> hey, what year is this bad boy? 15. 15? Yes. 15 with a Hemi engine, 5.7 V8. Jesus. How much horsepower is this? So where do have? you go cruising with it? Santa Monica Pier? 370, yeah. It only has 370 and weighs 4,000 pounds. Shut the f up, Joe. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here at the RDB rap facilities with our rap team. And they're fighting because he doesn't know what he's doing. And he thinks he knows what he's doing. And he's very hot. <laughs> but anyways, we're wrapping the side skirts of the Ventador right here. As you can see, there's a Ventador back there that used to be the camouflage color of Ventador. And now it's becoming matte dark gray, which is a very popular, very nice, stealthy wrap color. So that Ventador will be done next week. As you can see, we fully take it apart. These are the big rocker panels that are getting wrapped right now. Very difficult to wrap. So over here, is a Tesla Plaid. This car was actually white and now it is gloss black. These gloss black wraps are getting super popular with us because people were always afraid to do them when they got a white car. Like I said, this guy settled for a white Plaid but really wanted a black one. So this one is actually not the Hexus Clear Bra, but this is the Inozatec gloss black. So this is just a gloss black from Inozatec. Damn near looks like a paint job. Like I said, we had to do the jams and everything. As you can see, all the white is gone. Everything's black. Very tough to do from white to black. It's the toughest to do. But yeah, Tesla Plaid right here finished up. John over here is taking sensors out of a Cullinan for a wide body project that we're doing, which is a purple one. We'll kind of go over there and show you guys right now. But yeah, let's keep it rocking. <laughs> So yeah, this car doesn't come with exhaust valves that you can control, unfortunately. And we well, want to be able to control it because this car sounds so sick. This is the GT4 C Lusa, which is the V12 motor. Right now, this is what it sounds like. So pretty quiet. And then we hit off, which basically opens the valves. And now you have more of that F1 sound. And this is a stock exhaust, we didn't modify it. We just modified the valve controller. So pretty cool. 
It has a really dope brown interior. We also installed this Pioneer dash camera, front and back, integrated into the roof, so no wires anywhere. Now we have a dash cam in the front and the back, so the customer could record while he's driving in case of any accidents or anything like that. He's able to have that for the insurance company. So yeah, we do all the light stuff too. It doesn't matter if you're just wrapping, lowering, wide bodies, wheels. We do all the smaller stuff too. You know, hit us up. Any work you need for any of your cars, Ferrari, whatever, we'll do it. We have two SVJs right here. You've seen both on the channel before. This SVJ has gone through three colors, a lot of modifications. It's got the 1016 front hood. It's got the Rift front lip. It's got the Enozatec. I don't even know what they call it, medallion yellow, whatever it is. Really cool yellow color, metallic. It's got clear bra. It's got the custom five-star white wheels, polished lip. We made the mirrors carbon fiber. We made the side skirts carbon fiber. It didn't come like that. And we installed the Novatec rear scoops with the three vents right there. Very tough to get Novatec parts. We have a lot of Novatec parts on order still for it. Really dope black and white interior. This one is one of my favorite SVJs, the Greek inspired SVJ. This is a wrap. It's got the Greek inspired SVJ logo in the back, if you guys recall. Also has the matching white five-star wheels, which are really, really sick. It has a black and red interior. This car is getting the same hood. It's getting the same front lip. We might also be changing the color to possibly the signal green from Porsche. So that might be really, really sick. Also, we ordered Novatec coilover systems for both these cars and a few other SVJs because the springs on this car lower it really nice, but it makes it a little bit too bumpy and a little floaty feeling. So the coilovers are really going to make these things sit on the ground. They're both super Super loud they both have the rdb exhaust systems on there they're both tuned they belong to two friends so it's together all the time we have a lot more svgs coming we have a white one coming which is also going to get the hood and other things and then we have a very special one of one svj this is probably the most expensive svj ever coming my good buddy bought that we're going to be doing a bunch of mods on that so yeah it's svj season i guess all over again we got a lot more for you guys on the channel so appreciate you guys watching and um on to the next one these cars you can't like the adrenaline rushes no other car ever does that to you and it's nuts being behind the straight pipe svj is just stupid <laughs> 